Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I've updated my channel, but I've been doing a lot of stuff so updates won't be as frequent as I would like them to be. But I have some AJMVs on the way, but this video isn't about Animal Jam. It is about the new game called Feral. I'm really excited about it. Like. I haven't been excited for a game in so long, and the fact that Wildworks is making a game for older um, audiences is amazing. What I wanted to talk about is the expanses, which is the worlds in Feral, which are already confirmed and are shown in the um, Wildworks wiki, which is hopefully not fake, but it seems pretty legit. And so I got inspired by these names and I just went ahead and decided to draw the Enchanted Forest. I don't have any reference to what Feral may look like, except for their main page and one of their drawings of a kitsune on the wiki page. I wanted to get it as close to canon as possible, which means that I was inspired by original Animal Jam artwork of The Lost Temple of Zios, because it seems like that, or Ser Serapia Forest, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, would be fairly close to the design of, of the forest in Feral. Judging by the logo, I feel like a lot of things would look quite blue. And in fact, I was also inspired a little bit by Belouche, about mostly the temple in Belouche, which is very blue. But here I thought it would be nice to add some pretty fat trees and a giant crystal in the middle of the forest. And to illuminate it, I decided to add some mushrooms around the trail. I wanted to use as little color as possible, mostly lining everything with one shade of blue. And I blended it in and I tried to make it look as much possible as official Animal Jam artwork, but um, clearly it doesn't look too much like that. But I think that's okay because generally I think it looks good. At first I wanted to add some regular leaves into the foreground, but then I realized that maybe some ferns would fit this forest more, so I drew a few uh, koru ferns. And at first I wanted to illuminate them from the mushrooms, but then I realized as a foreground it looks better like pure black. I wanted to make the trees pretty big, but also I didn't want them to overshadow everything else. I didn't want the background to feel extremely cluttered. Uh, so I left some space between the crystal. And I slightly highlighted the trees so that they don't look super flat. With the leaves of the trees, I had a little bit of trouble on deciding with the colors and the shading. But I eventually ended up on a pretty decent color, I think. And decided to finish it off with some gorgeous lighting from the sky, which is probably some moonlight or something. I honestly don't know, I'm the artist and I don't know. <laughs> And for contrast, I decided to make the crystal itself pink because I got, once again, I got inspired by the official artwork for Feral. I noticed that the kitsune on the um, logo of Feral was blue. But however, the official uh, design for the kitsune has lots of pink colors on it. And I thought, hey, I don't want everything here to be blue. Maybe change some things up a bit. So I went with this huge pink crystal, and then I gave it some uh, lighting, which didn't make it stand, stand out too much, but it was still very noticeable. Mm -hmm. 
I also noticed one thing that I actually forgot to add into the speed paint. I wanted to add fairy lights onto the trees so that there's more lighting and the treetops don't feel so empty, but I kind of forgot about that. Um, so in the finished painting, you'll see um, some lights in the trees. So um, my apologies for my terrible, terrible memory, but... This is how I imagine the forest in Feral, and I'm really excited for the game. So I'm gonna make a lot of videos about that, so stay tuned.